You're watching WDHN Weather with Chief Meteorologist Scott Roberts. Here in the Wiregrass, we continue to enjoy pleasant conditions weather-wise. We've been enjoying high pressure being controlled, dry air moving in, and that's why it's been feeling pretty comfortable. And we'll keep that trend for tomorrow and for the weekend, at least part of it. We'll be looking at mainly dry conditions for Saturday. Rain chances will begin to tick up as we go into Sunday. Now going beyond that, Dorian is going to be the main factor in our forecast. It is now a Category 2 storm strengthening by 20 miles per hour since the earlier advisory. 105 mile per hour sustained winds right now at the center. The hurricane hunters have been investigating it, and that's what they found. They also found that the pressure is dropping. Forward movement has slowed down to 12 miles per hour, and as we extrapolate that out, it is expected that the storm will slow down a bit and strengthen more quickly, upwards of 115 miles per hour by Friday morning, and then in the afternoon, 120 miles per hour, and likely going into Saturday evening, we will be dealing with a Category 4 storm bearing down on the eastern coast of Florida. Now, since the earlier advisory, the last time the Hurricane Center did update the forecast path, they have shifted this a little further south because of that slowdown in the forward movement. The slower this moves, the more westwardly the storm will go, which means it could be something that we will have to worry about along the Gulf Coast and even into the Wiregrass. The further west this goes, that means has a better chance of entering the Gulf of Mexico, where there are very warm waters for this storm to continue to strengthen. Now, as far as the model plots, still in good consensus over the next several days, at least through the week and beyond that we do get a little bit of divergence but now some of those models are picking up on that slowdown bringing it into the Gulf of Mexico where those uh, conditions will be favorable for it to regenerate on the visible uh, excuse me infrared satellite imagery have a lot of convection around the center still some dry air and training on the eastern side of this but that will subside going into the next several hours and that's part of the reason why this will be strengthening now as far as the model comparison between the American GFS in white and the orange the European model Close agreement for us right now as this treks to the northwest and west, and then it's really going to be about the speed where things start to diverge a little bit. Pretty close agreement here. Not too much of a spread, but this model, the white, the U.S. model, brings it further south, which again is that not so great news for us, but it does, still does bring the storm, both of them, across the peninsula and potentially in our direction. So I think at the very least, we will be feeling the effects of some fringes of the storm with some rainfall and some breezy conditions. Warm waters ahead of the storm immediately and off the coast of Florida upper 80s even on the west coast 89 degrees for those water temperatures so we will be watching that pretty carefully over the next several days and it's really going to be say on saturday and for sunday when we will have a really good idea of what we can expect if we can expect there to be effects from the storm or nothing which is still a viable option and still a likely possible scenario for us here in the wiregrass clear conditions for us tonight so that will be the trend going into the day tomorrow. So enjoy the calm conditions that we have out there right now. That'll be the case through the day tomorrow. 75 degrees is the current temperature. Upper 60s by tomorrow morning. So beautiful start to the day. Beautiful sunny skies. It'll be a good day to head to the pool early on in the afternoon hours. High temperatures in the lower 90s, upper 80s by 6 o'clock. And beyond that will be pretty good for the high school football games as well. With that high pressure staying in control of our weather, the cold front, that brought us storms earlier in the week. That's well to our south, allowing that drier and slightly cooler air, at least for the morning hours, to work its way in. Temperatures tonight, upper 60s. Then first thing tomorrow morning, maybe mid 60s for a few locations. But with the sunshine and dry air in place, those temperatures will climb quickly into the upper 80s to lower 90s. But thanks to the lower humidity, still feeling comfortable. So heading up for the high school football games, it's going to be a beautiful night with a mainly clear sky. Rain chances, storm chances, both increase for Saturday and for Sunday. Labor Day, we could see an uptick in those rain chances as well. Then going into Wednesday, that's when Dorian could be in our general neighborhood one way or the other. So it is going to be something to watch out for either way. I think we will see a change in the direction